I don't know how I did it, but somehow I've made it three months eating nothing but beef. And before I start adding some foods back into my diet, I want to show you what a day of eating is like in the life of a true beefcake. I start 95% of the days the exact same way with a cup of bone broth, which looks like the most white trash beverage you can possibly be drinking, especially when you drink it with a mason jar with a handle on it. People will go get a mason jar with a wine stem or a handle. Oh, those dirty people. Uh. But despite the appearances, it actually tastes pretty good. And I've been struggling a lot in the mornings ever since cutting coffee out of my carnivore diet. But this is a great replacement, although it's not 100% of what you're gonna get from coffee. I don't intentionally intermittent fast. I've actually found it to be counterproductive in my life anytime that I've tried it in the past. But this bone broth is satiating enough that it causes me to unintentionally intermittent fast because I just don't feel hunger for the first few hours of the day. Apparently there's also a lot of vitamins, minerals, protein, and other nutrients in bone broth that are valuable for your health. And I did notice some improvements after adding it into my diet. If you're interested in learning more about bone broth, you can check out the link in the description below this video to find out what advantages it has and which ones are just theoretical. I normally get about two to four hours of work in after drinking the bone broth before I start to feel hungry for the next meal, which is when I will start cooking my first real meal of the day. Something I do before cooking is weigh out my salt so that I can restrict myself to less than 15 grams, preferably less than 10 grams per day, because when I eat more than that, I've been suffering from some insane leg cramps and just salting to taste will naturally compel me to use more than 15 grams of salt. It's crazy how much salt I've been using when it's the only thing that I can use to spice up my meals. I also started measuring the beef tallow. Beef tallow is rendered beef fat, which I've been using to cook with since I can't use any other oils or butter. This first meal usually always consists of the exact same thing, a steak and a burger. And after three straight months of doing this, I'm still not sick of this meal and I'm still looking forward to it every single day. I might even be looking forward to it a little bit too much. When I first started this all beef diet, it was incredibly difficult to restrict myself from eating anything besides beef. But now that I'm a few months in, it's hard to limit myself to only eating a few pounds of beef. Meal number two looks absolutely disgusting. This is probably the least photogenic, no, not probably, definitely the least photogenic diet that you will ever find, yet somehow it still tastes delicious. I heard Seth Rogen say something along the lines of patties. Thick patties are for dickheads. But this guy has clearly never tried a thick ass burger fried in beef towel because that is the best burger that I've ever had, and the only thing that's in it is ground beef and salt. I honestly prefer that over the ribeyes half the time. So that entire disgusting pile of grease is now off my plate and sitting in my stomach. Doesn't look like that could possibly be good for you, but looks can be deceiving. The only thing remaining on my plate are those bones, which I will be saving to add to my next batch of bone broth. Zero waste. Great taste. I also probably drink close to 10 cups of boiling water every day. This was my initial replacement when I cut out coffee and before I added in bone broth. And I found that it's also something that gives me some variety in the temperature of what I'm drinking since I can't have any taste difference. Normally I would like to work out about four hours after my meal, but since I have to make appointments for the gym, the only one available today was at 1.30, so I'm going directly from that meal to lifting weights, which would typically be a problem if I was eating carbs, but somehow on this all beef diet, I don't seem to feel bloated the same way that I usually do, and I feel comfortable getting into the gym just a few minutes after consuming thousands of calories. Surprisingly, that workout wasn't much of a struggle at all. I guess that food in my stomach didn't hinder my performance. I was able to lift at least as much, if not more, than I did last week. I guess that's a huge benefit of this all beef diet, is you can just have a massive meal, get right into the weight room, and have no negative effect on your performance. At least, none that I can notice. Now, it's time to get some more food for the rest of the day. Workout done, groceries purchased, 
ready to go and make the rest of the food for the rest of the day. You can see from this grocery haul that you can actually have quite a bit of variety in a single day of eating. I'm gonna have two meals, three if you count bone broth as a meal, and I haven't had the same thing even one time. Normally if I'm eating something like this, I would be leaving it cooking while I'm at the gym so that as soon as I get home, I can eat it. But since my meal today was so close to the time that I was going to the gym, I one, didn't have time to put this in the oven before leaving, two, didn't have the food to actually put in the oven, but three, I'm not really hungry enough to want to eat as soon as I come home since I'm still digesting the food from the last meal. A lot of people are concerned about an anabolic window where you get the most muscle protein synthesis, meaning that you build the most muscle from the food that you eat immediately following your workout. But the actual science shows that this anabolic window is much longer than most people think, extending beyond the first few hours after exercise to the first few days after exercise. So not eating right after the gym is not a problem. But let's get to cooking. As you can hear, my oven is now preheated and ready to accept the goods. My second meal of the day, the third if you count bone broth as a meal, and although it doesn't look too appetizing, you can see that you can get quite a bit of variety on your plate when the only thing you're eating is beef, as long as you're okay with some of those items not really tasting the greatest. Uh, liver, I'm talking about you in particular. But if variety is what you crave, then that's what you can get if you make an effort to do it. Even though I finished at the gym over four to five hours ago, I still don't feel too hungry. And even though I don't feel too hungry, I should still be able to finish this massive plate that I have in front of me. It's pretty amazing what my appetite can do, so. Bon appetit. And that is a wrap on this meal. The entire plate is cleared, minus the bones, which I will weigh so I can get a final calorie count, which I will put somewhere on the screen here for you guys. As you can see, the most interesting thing about eating on this diet is that even though I didn't feel hungry before eating this meal, I just crushed over 2000 calories and still could eat more if I wanted to. It's kind of strange how I almost never feel full and also almost never feel hungry. And the recipes are pretty straightforward considering that you can't use any spices or marinades. All you have to do is throw it in the oven and using the other carnivore products really does make these beef items taste even better. Those things being tallow and bone broth. Using this to spice up the diet really makes me feel like I could continue this for the rest of my life if I needed to, but I don't think that it's ideal for my social life or my excitement about the future. So I will be adding in salmon later this week and probably some other seafood as well. If you wanna see how that turns out, then make sure you're subscribed to this channel and hit the like button if you enjoyed seeing me eat all this food. I can do more eating videos if that's something that you're interested in. I know that people like to mukbang or watch people mukbang and I can bang a lot of muck. So this might be my future career if nothing else works out on this channel. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'm looking forward to continue sharing this journey with you.